Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about fan companies. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, love your content. Oh, nice, thank you. Uh, I have a quick question regarding uh, to fan companies. How come you don't want, want to work for a fan company? I Is there... I, I thought they thought that there are top software engineers at all companies and regions, however it seems to be the case that these companies contain the best of the best within the IT industry. I don't want to come off as someone who's crapping on engineers that work on non-fine companies, so if I did, I'm sorry in advance. No, like I don't... I don't... Uh, uh, this is a classic... Uh, uh, classic thing. Uh, uh, what you have done is that you have fallen victim to the branding uh, of a fan company. Uh, because if you think that the best of the best uh, are within fang, then uh, what is Linus Tor why, why isn't Linus Torvalds there? Like uh, all the people at Mozilla, all the people like, uh, I mean, none of the fan companies have ChatGPT within their portfolio. Well, they're trying to buy them now. So, uh, the thing that is happening is the same thing that happens with propaganda, with commercials, ads, and like all of this sort of stuff. You've been brainwashed to believe something that isn't true. It is certainly true that uh, the fan companies have a lot of software developers, and many of them are highly, highly talented. But if you think about it yourself, just from a rational perspective, we're talking about companies that have thousands and thousands of employees. Do you really think that every single employee within that company and that organization is better objectively than everybody outside of it. If you just think about that, that, that doesn't make sense. It would be like saying that uh, a country is has just like uh, amazing athletes because whenever you go and do a sports thing, they always win in the Olympics or something like that. And it's the same thing with the fan companies. They promote themselves very well as highly, and they are guys. They are absolutely the high value brands in the in the world. But they don't ex contain exclusively highly talented software developers, not by a long shot. I mean, they, right now they're all laying off people by the thousands. How, why would they? I mean, how uh, you think that all of these people are just? Uh, people that are completely un, uh, are, are just people that you know uh, that do so well that going anywhere else is basically a downgrade for them. It's it's not how it works, guys. The reality is, and this is what I argue, is that uh, you you are going to find that the highly talented uh, of the world they don't just go to a specific company they are usually found in a specific role and they're usually found in many places apart from fan companies specifically because that is the thing that matters when you find a job guys the brand of the company is something that some people care about but that's not the people necessarily who are the best of the best because the best of the best they do know that even if you work at the fan company you can still work on a city shitty project so what I mean is very simple, like if we talk about myself now guys, the thing, I mean, I have been contacted by companies like this and many of my friends have as well. And it's not necessarily the case that we, you want to work for a fan company because just because you work for a fan company or a cool, as I like to call it, like these branded companies, that doesn't actually mean much because they, they need software developers for all kinds of stuff, right? But if you already have reached a point where you're working in an environment where you're dealing with an issue or something that grows you more, then it's actually a downgrade to go to a fan company because the only thing you will gain from going there is well potentially of course you can move around and so forth and so forth but it might be the case that you will hinder your own personal development because you take a role that is at a lower level at the fan company just because that's what they need you to do but in the company that you are you're actually doing things that are even more advanced or more developing for you which is the case for me for example so the in if we take the role that I have right now, there are very few companies uh, that would be able to give me the the role that I have 
within like whatever they're doing because the things that I do are at the level in a company that has a very specific structure that allows that to happen. It's not necessarily a good thing that this, not for the company per se, but for me it's a very good situation because I have to basically take responsibilities for things that most companies are not dealing with these sorts of issues. And that's the thing that it's... Uh, to give you a very concrete example of this in action, if you wanted, for example now, to become the like a top-notch DevOps engineer or infrastructure engineer, or something like that, well, it's actually probably it's probably not the best idea necessarily to go to a fan company because most of their infrastructure, which are one of the things that they specialize in, is at a level of development where they, it's the same thing with coding, where like if everything is streamlined, everything is per perfected, there's not much growth and transformation that has to happen within the company. But for a DevOps engineer, say a junior software developer who wants to really learn how to code, you are in a better state for learning purposes if you're going to a company that is transitioning from a old way of doing things to a new way of doing things because that journey requires you to not just consume like uh, things um, that are already maybe finished like in a fan company but you have to invent those solutions for the company and that is something that is very valuable to you because that journey that that other company that is not a fan company is on will teach you more by the end of it than if you work just at a fan company and you sort of just do the things that they are doing there. You will learn a lot of the, from that environment as well. But you shouldn't underestimate the power of being with a company who has a specific state that they uh, uh, that fits the thing that you want to learn. So as I said, with like a, I mean, if you're a DevOps engineer, I make that argument that the best thing for you is to be in a company that had something like an on-prem solution and wants to go to the cloud because that journey is a very, it's not something that you're just going to find in any old, old company, but it will teach you enormously uh, about how to work with like different setups, how to transition, uh, what price ranges and contract negotiations and all of these sort of things that might already be streamlined at a fine company, but they're not streamlined there. That will grow you more for sure. Uh, than just being in a company where you don't really have to deal with those sorts of issues, right? So what I want you to take away from this is that I have—I no, don't think I've ever said that I don't want to work for a fan company. I would gladly work for a fan company, but it, for me, it's not about yeah, this is a cool company because the coolness of the company is something. As I said, most people, especially the juniors, you get sold this idea that it, your life is perfect just because you work at Google or Facebook or whatever. Right? The reality is that that's not how it works usually. In bro re very large companies, guys, uh, the most important thing is almost always what role do you have within that company and what people are you working with and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to work with the best of the best just because you work at one of the high brand companies I can promise you that much and the thing that I argue is that it's better for you to find a company where you get to expose yourself to a specific situation that will grow you at least for me that is why I, I mean because personal growth career-wise and perfecting my craft is what I care about and when you find that sort of company uh, or like my role these days it's borderline impossible for even a fan company it might happen if they have that need or something like that to to have an open slot for something like that, usually at the level that I am, you usually get headhunted for certain roles uh, because it's you know you're working with something that is not standard development, which is what most people are hiring for, and there's not that many people who are looking for someone which has who has just the thing that I do, for example, these days, and so in due to that, it's actually better for me to be with a company that might not be a fan company. So I, I think you should be careful with getting into your uh, getting it into your head that you know fan companies are just like full of the best of the best because that's simply not the case. I can promise you that. Have a great day.